One of the questions that I get from clients when I power wash their driveway, I get all the oil stains off. One of the questions they ask me is, how are we gonna keep this oil off? How are we gonna keep it from returning so we don't have to keep paying you to power wash this? And you can do two things. One, you can fix your car. Two, you can seal your driveway. So after the power washing company has cleaned that driveway and the oil is gone, it looks nice, you wanna keep it off. The way to do it is to seal it. You can either put a wet look sealant or a flat look sealant and ask the pressure washing company if they can provide this service. It's a very important prevention service that will keep it off for as much as five years. And it could cost between 500 to 1,000, depending on the type of space and how, many, how much square footage that you actually have on it. Okay, so if you're one of those lucky people that have the high vaulted glass, those beautiful glass windows, but they're 20 feet up in the air, you don't know how to get to them. Well, obviously you need a ladder, but with that ladder, you're gonna need drop cloths. You're going to need rags that you can put on the ends of your ladder. If you have cultured marble and you put the ladder on that floor, you need to have someone hold the bottom of that ladder or it's going to slide out from underneath you, causing problems on your wall as well as causing serious injury to yourself and others. You're gonna to need to prop that ladder up against the wall. Just remember, before you put that ladder up, make sure you put the rags on each end of the ladder where the ladder will be going against your wall. So when you put it up against your wall, it will protect your sheetrock. Now, once you put it up there, make sure there's someone holding that ladder so it doesn't slip out from underneath you. Then you're gonna have to get up there and you have to wash that glass. Make sure you have the right tools. You are going to need a professional mop, professional squeegee. You can do this or you can hire a window cleaning company to come in and do that for you. You don't have to worry about it at all. Here's the first sign you'll know that you're working with a bad window cleaning company. You're on the phone with them and you're asking them for a price and you're asking them to set up an appointment and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't wanna work with a company like that. If you're on the phone with them, you're trying to schedule, you're trying to get some prices from them and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't wanna work with a company like that. You wanna hang up the phone immediately. When you hire a window cleaning company, it's very important that they treat you with utmost courtesy, respect, kindness. You wanna work with a window cleaning company who is always there for you. And they show you that you are number one because you are number one. You're the customer and you're their bread and butter. It's so important that a company treats you well, that they're there for you, they're there when you call them, that they're giving you the service, the quality. That company should be willing to do anything for you. They should be willing to pet your dog. They should be willing to give you a massage while they're washing your windows. You should be that important to them. So if you like what you've seen and you'd like to learn more, then please go to my website, jjwindowash.com. See you soon.